talking about something that might not seem that important, but it is very important. Guitar picks. I think what a lot of people don't take into account, especially when they first start playing guitar, is how much of a difference your strings make and how much of a difference your pick makes to your playing style, the fluidity of your own playing, and your sound. So when talking about guitar picks, a few things to consider, which are the physical characteristics of the pick, are the thickness, the material, and the shape. The way I like to look at it is, there isn't really a rule as far as how thick of a pick you should use depending on what style. I think a lot of people stick with certain things for certain styles of music and I think you really should just go with whatever is comfortable for you. I've recently been trying out picks and for the style of music that I play, or styles, I've been going anywhere between 0.73 of a mil with a really solid material and all the way up to one and a half millimeters. Both of those thicknesses, even in that spectrum, they'll do the job. It's just a matter of what kind of feel do you prefer. One thing I've noticed lately, as far as my own playing, and what's made me want to try out a lot of picks lately, is that particularly with thicker strings and drop tunings, I was having to grip my pick really hard doing some kind of riffs and things like that. And it was really putting too much effort through my picking hand and it was restricting my technique a little bit. So at the moment I've been playing with at least one different pick every day if not two or three just to see what feels good and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be using because I want to find one that I can stick with. That's kind of what inspired me to make this video. So in terms of thickness, obviously if you have a really thin pick it will tend to have more give depending on the material and the thicker the pick is it'll have less give, it'll be more solid, it'll just hit the strings really hard and some people like the feel of that just plowing through the strings and some people like the feel of the pick kind of flapping from one string to the next almost. The material for a pick makes a huge difference um, as far as feel for sure the way that you can grip the pick it affects and the tone of the pick. For example here is a 0.73 millimeter Dunlop Tortex pick, which I used to use all the time when I only played in standard. And what I liked about this pick is the fact that the material is really rubbery and it has the best grip, in my opinion, for how I was playing. But what I didn't like is how much give it has. Like the pick will really flex, and if you start really chugging away, riffing, and things like that, it doesn't hold up. On the other hand, the same thickness, 0.73, of a Dunlop Prime Tone, which I believe is made of Ultex, but it's the same kind of classic shape. This pick has far less give. It doesn't, I mean, it has a little, little bit of flex, but nothing like how the Tortex was. The downside to the material is that it's really slippery compared to this. So, on this particular model it has like a raised grip which helps but it only helps in that one area so you're a lot more likely to lose this pick in my experience just because of how much less grip it has but it's kind of a trade-off because this pick if you like the feel of it this one is much stronger but slipperier I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear much of a difference over the camera but here's the Tortex the softer rubberier material <laughs> Here's the prime tone. To me, it definitely sounds a lot harsher in the room. Hopefully that comes through. Again, same thickness, same shape, just different material. And also, like I said, different materials will affect the bend, the give of the pick, just as much as the, as the thickness will at times. So. You can get away with using a thinner pick, if that's what you like, with a stiffer material. And if, the other way around, if you want a pick that's just going to have that thwack kind of a sound against the strings, which I know some people like, then go with a material that gives, or go with a thinner pick. Other aspects to consider about the shape of a pick would be the tip, the shape of the tip, whether it's like a classic, kind of more rounded tip, or if it's real sharp. As far as the shape of the tip goes, I think that there is a slight difference in sound, but in my experience, you're going to want to choose the tip of your pick based mostly on feel. 
In my experience, just a classic standard shape of a pick is most comfortable as far as the tip goes. Um, maybe just because that's what I've started playing with and I played with for so many years. And at first I had a real issue with really sharp tips on picks because I didn't like the sound, because maybe just because I wasn't used to it, and I didn't like the feel of it. And particularly I didn't like the feel of the release of the pick. What I mean by release is when you're picking across the strings with a standard pick, it's kind of hard to tell much of anything. It just kind of almost rubs across. And if you have like a much sharper tip, it it almost feels like the pick is like the string is holding the pick for an extra second and it doesn't want to let go. And that used to really bother me, although I've been playing with enough of them now that it doesn't really bother me anymore. But a lot of people will still probably find the feel to be drastically different and will prefer one or the other. Also the bevel of a pick is really important. That being, if you look at it sideways, the kind of cut on either side where the pick comes to a point, um, that makes a big difference. I've personally noticed a huge difference as far as um, the way that the pick initially engages, or what I would call the attack, um, in picks that are hand beveled. I mean, I hate to say uh, there is definitely a reason why it's another couple bucks. It, it plays a lot better for a pick that is hand beveled, like a prime tone or a gravity pick or something like that. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the tone of a pick as far as really the sound of the attack, I guess you'd call it. And I've noticed a lot of people commenting on, on plenty of videos online where they'll say, they'll say that they don't like the sound that a pick makes if it's too heavy or they feel like it's this kind of like a sharp kind of a squelching sound when it, right when it makes contact and that is definitely something that happens with heavier picks whether or not you like it is beside the point I mean hopefully you should like it if that's what you're playing but it kind of comes with the territory of having to use a thicker pick is that as soon as it touches a string that string is going to be just forced out of the way and Part of that, like rubbing across the pick as the string is just giving out, creates kind of a squelchier, sharper sound. So those are all things to consider when you're thinking about a guitar pick. I know I've been playing for over 10 years and most of the time I stuck with the same pick, but as, as my style has changed and as I've expanded styles, I've found that certain picks aren't sufficient and so I've been playing a lot around with picks lately and thought I'd make this video. Hopefully that'll help some people out. Thanks for watching.